Right, here we go again. I wasn't going to do a vlog today, but it is such a beautiful day. Um, my bike's going in for its 8,000, well, 8,000 mile service. It's a Honda NC750S. Um, I had it serviced, when I bought it, it had 700 miles on the clock. Um, and I had it serviced really just to make sure that everything was okay with it. Um, I didn't realise that it didn't have a service indicator on the dash and was waiting for that to come on and it never did and then I suddenly thought oh, it's up to nearly 8,500 miles now so anyway it's booked in for GT for its 8,000 miles service and it's such a lovely day depending on how long it takes me to get petrol it's due in in exactly an hour's time and I was going to go the long way round to GT and I'm going to try and do a little bit of commentary after hearing Steve yesterday with his advanced motorcycle commentary which I just find incredibly helpful and informative um, and contrary to what anyone thinks of me I actually don't like the sound of my own voice no comments about that please but I don't know especially after Steve said I sounded posh and I'm not Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a go. So probably edit all of it out. But anyway, my first stop is petrol. Just gone through into a 40. I did do a mirror check. Another mirror check. Give way sign. Turning left onto the main road, and it's a very busy main road. Tractor, clear, go. Right, petrol, mirror check, indicating right. You try and keep moving here. Shoulder check. Looking well ahead up through the garage. Instantly I was speeding, right, international, mirror check, no I didn't do it, I just can't see it quick enough, okay so national speed limit through here, taking near side line, oncoming traffic, right hand bend followed by left, just letting the bike go down the gear, it is an automatic so it sends that and it changed down, I'm in fifth gear, changing down, fourth, taking the offside line, keeping the offside for the view right up ahead. I know local knowledge we're going to be into a 30, there's a 30. I'm not seeing them quick enough, I've got to look further ahead. Just letting the bike, just engine braking. I went past the line. Just letting the bike do the work at the moment. It's in fourth gear just changed car coming from the near side just moved over to the center just trying to keep that safety bubble right now moving to the offside looking straight down the silver car right up ahead solid line cut oncoming traffic just moving over just a little bit I'm not keeping out, I'm not keeping my line long enough either to keep that view. Still looking well ahead, can still see the car, the silver car. The car in front, tailgating the, the bright blue car. We're going to be coming to a national speed limit, 
to sh early shoulder check, car in front braking because he's too close. I know there's nothing behind me. Go right and then a left. So I'm going to keep out. There might be a chance of an overtake here. And there is. Brake, brake, brake. A little bit close to the car in front, which is now braking. Why he's braking, God only knows. Is he going to turn off? Slow. Warning signs. Oncoming traffic in the centre of road. That would be lorries, large vehicles. It doesn't normally affect cars. It's normally lorry upon lorry. Oncoming traffic. So I'm keeping just off centre. There is a, maybe a chance of an overtake here. And there is. I'm getting a little bit, well, it's a little bit dodgy really. There's a national speed limit up here when it's safe to do so. The conditions are really good. This car's travelling at 30 miles an hour. I do wonder, I really do. Keeping away from oncoming traffic, you can see up ahead there's a right. So still keeping on the near side to maintain my view. This car is actually slowing down on the corners. Another right-hander, oncoming traffic, maintaining the side for view. Driveway on the left, I can see quite clearly into that one. Coming up to a gentle left. So, offside position. And I wasn't ready at all for the overtake then. There's a possibility of one coming up in a minute. Looking as far up ahead as I can oncoming traffic and it's into a 40 no it's not on left hand bend just off from center staying out for the view but it's a 40 so no overtake we're doing 38 miles an hour oncoming traffic Coming up to a national, going to do an early shoulder check. That car behind me is staying well off. There might be a chance of an overtake. No, nope, it's not on. There might be a quick overtake here. No, nope, no. Nope. Looking well ahead, well ahead, and yes, it's on. Near side junction can see well into that one. Another one on the left, which you can't see, so I'm just staying away from that one. Coming into built-up areas, so they'll be into a 30 in a minute. And there it is, just letting the bike do the work. No, is he going all the way around? Yes, he is. Built up area. Local knowledge says that there is a junction, a hidden junction on the left, so I'm keeping well over. There's a car waiting to come out on the right as well, but they can s clearly see me. She did see me. Absolutely no chance of overtaking anything up through here at the moment.
Lidl's turning on the left, car waiting to turn across me. Just move away. Car, uh, lorry in front, pulling over right, I'm pulling over left. There's nothing that's waiting to come out of the junction he's going into, so it's clear to go through. I'm turning right, so indicating my intention. Slightly off centre, just looking straight ahead. There's a small mini mark roundabout again, just slightly more than right o'clock, uh, 12 o'clock, so indicating my intention. Keeping over near side, looking for the view. Garage on the right. Car's pulling in, a car waiting to pull out. So I'll keep over to the near side. There's no junction on the near side, so you see me, yes he has. Zebra crossing, no aim for the black, but it's dry, so it's not exactly slippery. Park cars on the near side. Car with lights on, is somebody in it? Yes, there was. Indicating left car waiting to come across the roundabout still okay car waiting to come out for the junction see me yes he has coming up to another mini roundabout i'll be going straight on i am going to indicate here because there's a, normally a lot of traffic on this roundabout but a late indication because of the turning on the left there's a car waiting to come off the roundabout clear can be turning left towards Callington now we'll be going into the sun a little bit oncoming traffic so you take central position coming up to a national shoulder check left right right hand bend moving over to the near side vehicle park there so staying central safety rather than view Burn, just letting the bike take it around easy throttle a right and then a sharp left and a sharp right just letting the bike do the work it's in fifth so I'm going to take it into fourth just again just letting the bike do the work another right and then take it down to third trying to look up through the bend because that's what I'm not doing very well I'm not looking to the vanishing point very well keep looking for that vanishing point right a right bend keeping to the near side oncoming traffic central position rather than offside sharp left trying to keep out for the view the vanishing point steady throttle all the way around and I've fallen back in again there's a left hand turning here just steadying a little bit easing off the throttle car waiting to come out has he seen me difficult to tell the sun was in my eyes but I slowed right down I could have stopped oncoming lorry junction on the left so I'm going to maintain I can't see into that junction so I'm going to maintain central position I'm going to be turning off left at this junction forgetting to say about my mirror checks give way it can be a nasty one this so just take it nice and slowly just nice and slowly and I am going to stop because of the sun it's just not worth it
lorry parked on the left so it's just slowing down front and back brake together just very taking it easy because cars come up here really fast oh i wish you could smell what i can smell well actually i'm glad you can't right clear ahead not going to push it down here car coming up approaching so just steady squeezing on the brakes give way and cars coming down off the main road can come at quite a speed it's all clear and go right observations again looking for that vanishing point that's what i've got to keep doing that's what i'm not doing i'm dropping my eyes too quickly it says slow in the road warning of a right hand bend the sharp right hand bend so just keeping my head up looking for that vanishing point that was a bit better narrow bridge give way to oncoming vehicles and a left hand bend so just wait for traffic or we'll be aware of traffic queued on the bend slowing down slowing down brake brake can see looking through the trees can see the car stop just going to slow right down see if i can keep this bike moving and go crossing the bridge into cornwall i hope you're enjoying this steve it's difficult right there's a horrible man cover here just straight over it right rising up the hill lots of information traffic lights ahead railway traffic lights approaching There's presumably no pavement no footwear yes for 100 yards slow and it stopped so i'm i'm not going to easily ease off i don't know how long the lights have been red and a stop on the near side into neutral check the time gold i got 40 minutes not that quick these traffic lights there's not, still nothing behind car coming up behind and it's a nice little honda civic by the look of it yes love those cars right mirror check and away car the silver car's turning off right so hang back a little bit oh and the other car is brilliant oh nice one right i'm not going to do any commentating about the speed 